Hi friends, it's India Footy, back with another video. In this video we will talk about the 2022 FIFA World Cup third round Asian qualification match between Australia and Japan, which was played at Stadium Australia in Sydney earlier this evening. It was a very crucial match for either teams, as both needed to win in order to keep their hopes alive of a direct World Cup qualification. However Japan could still afford a draw, but Australia needed to win their both remaining fixtures to achieve a direct qualification. Socceru started the match with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, as opposed to the Samurai Blues 4-1-4-1 formation. The first half was characterized by a lack of goal-scoring opportunities from both sides. In the infant stages of the game, Australia had shown promise with some impressive passes, but when they resorted to long balls, Japan dealt with them with confidence. Socceroos dominated first half ball possession, but did not do much to threaten the opposition goal, while Japan who were pressed back for the majority of the half, did well to absorb the pressure and looked dangerous on the few times they attacked. It was a positive and spirited performance of Australia in the first half, which fully deserved at least one goal. However the two teams returned to the locker room at break without any advantage. If one thought the second half held much promise, one was to be disappointed as the pace and urgency of both sides dropped considerably. Surprisingly the tempo of the game slowed down after the early attempts at both ends. Although Australia looked more likely to open the scoring, but couldn't find a way past the Japan defence. Australia threw men forward in the final 10 minutes in search of a late winner, but it was Japan who scored through Kaoru Mitomar in the 89th minute to earn a victory and qualification to the World Cup. The result also secured Saudi Arabia a spot in the World Cup, while Australia now had to go through the playoffs in order to play the World Cup. 